Hey, what's up, guys? Mike from the Oak Cliff Kid Boxing Academy. Going to be breaking down the action from Bellator 94, featuring the lightweight and light heavyweight tournament finals. First fight on the prelims, Felice Herrick versus Heather Clark. No better way to start a card than with Felice Herrick, the little bulldog. She was taken down in the first round, and the bigger Clark stayed on top, ground and pound to her side. But in the second round, she came back, and she looked really good in the stand-up, avoided takedowns. She got, she got hit a few times, but then she was able to reverse the takedown, she got back control and looked for the rear naked choke for the rest of the round. And in the third, once again, she took the back, locked up the body triangle, and she almost had the one arm rear naked choke. It was close, but it went to the decision. Somehow, judges get, gave it a split decision to Herrig. I thought it was pretty clear that she won. Great fight. The next fight on the prelims ended in a draw. It was a wild fight. Veteran Tony Franklin versus Patrick Sinoble. Uh, this fight, uh, Fricklin kept hitting takedowns. Sinoble really good at his boxing. So it was basically a wrestler versus boxing matchup. And second round, there was a point deduction for holding the cage, and that made the difference. And it's really hard to judge this fight. It depends on how you score the takedowns, how do you score the effective punching or getting takedown, took down, excuse me. So it ends in a draw, and maybe they'll do it again. Tony Fricklin, he looked like the aging veteran. And Sinobo, he looked really good with his, boxing, with his boxing. So maybe they can mix it up one more time. It was still a very fun, exciting fight. James Edson Berto versus Bruno Carvalho was uh, over pretty quick. Berto with a huge punch. Mouthpiece went flying of Carvalho. And then he actually got his wits back, and he went for the arm bar. But then he got submitted with the leg lock. Uh, James Edson Berto, brother of boxing champion Andre Berto, makes a very great Bellator debut. Joe Taiminglo defeats Ronnie Rogers. The highlight of the first round was a huge takedown, followed by Taiminglo getting in the uh, crucifix position, landing some very heavy ground and pound. It worked for him in the first round. He tried it again in the second. He went for the takedown, scooped him up, big slam. Uh, Rogers, though, tried to snake his arm around for the guillotine, which left him in a bad position because Taminglo went north-south, and he got that north-south choke for the tap. Great fight, Joe Taminglo. Jessica Aguilar versus Patricia Vedonic was moved to the prelims. A little bit surprised by that. Uh, however, though, it was a good decision because this was a very lackluster fight. It was a split decision for Aguilar. However, she didn't fight with any fire. She just didn't really do much of anything. She got a, a couple of takedowns. And actually, I thought it should have gone the other way to Vedonic. Jessica Aguilar remains the number one ranked woman, woman at 115 pounds. Heavyweight battle, Augusto Sakai versus Rob Horton. Uh, the first round was great. Lots of action. A lot of back and forth. By the second, though, it became apparent Horton was just a puncher, whereas Augusto really mixed it up well with his knees and kicks. And at the end of the round, landed a huge knee that got a stop for the referee to come in and stop the fight. The final fight on the prelims, Julian Williams picks up a first-round win by submission to guillotine choke. Really overpowered his opponent, Kenny Moss. And it was a great prelims once again. I think they deliver every week. Make sure you're watching on Bellator.com or Spike.com and main card coming up. First fight on the main card, Rodrigo Lima versus Ronnie Mann. Mann making his debut at Bantamweight. And this fight was all Lima with the speed advantage. It was mostly a stand-up fight, lots of action, 
uh, he he dropped him in the first round, and then a little bit of groundwork at the end. Uh, but this fight was all Rodrigo Lima. Luis Melo versus Trey Houston was a great fight. Uh, surprised it didn't finish in the first round when Melo threw a big kick, landed in the junk. But actually, Houston didn't need very much time to recover. Went back at it, and he was holding his own. Unfortunately, he gassed. Took a lot of punishment, a lot of ground and pound in the second round. And then again in the third, uh, Melo was able to lock up an arm triangle choke, and he got the tap. And he advances into the next welterweight tournament. The co-main event was the lightweight tournament finals between Syed Awad and David Rickles. First round, Awad with the punches, Rickles with the kicks. Syed got the, a couple of takedowns. So definitely give him that round. Second round was uh, Rickles. He got the takedown, and he did get reversed, but he had several submission attempts. Awad with punches. At the very end, Awad was uh, on his feet. He was having trouble. He was eating punches. Rickles was pouring it on, land, landing big shots. And uh, Rickles put him down at the bell, and he walked off. And referee saw that. Sayad Awad was not getting up, and so he called the fight. A little bit of controversy because it didn't look like Awad was really out. He wasn't knocked out, but he was just laying there. He didn't respond, and therefore that's what made referee Troy Wall call the fight. So David Rickles, now the lightweight tournament champion, is going to meet lightweight champion Michael Chandler, and that's going to be a great fight. Main event, light heavyweight tournament finals. Mihail Zayets versus Emmanuel Newton. First round was Newton. He was throwing lots of kicks, lots of different punches, spinning stuff, making Zayets really guess. And he, he wasn't able to offer much in return. Kept wondering what was coming next. But in the second round, he was able to correct some of those mistakes. He did a lot better. In the third round, it was all Newton once again. He dropped him with a great punch. And he went for the rear naked choke. Turned it into a bulldog choke, but Mikhail Zayat's able to hang on. And a late takedown seals it for Emmanuel Newton, now the light heavyweight tournament champion. He will be fighting Attila Vey, the champion of the weight class, and that should be another great fight.